So, sorry for joining late today. Anyway, on Tuesday we found a really good deal. We found this uh, weed eater with a 12.5 and we found this Murray with a 14. Got both motors running now. The weed eater, we took his motor out and put him in our, um, this is the old Murray motor. Uh, thought it was blown head gasket, but when we got it apart, uh, it's a whole bunch of other mess with piston the piston rings. rings and stuff. It was in there, it was cockeyed and off-centered and whatever. And so we let it sit for about six or eight months and we bought a new one, uh, just one of those Troy builds or whatever. So it's our one more. Um, anyway, we got that off. Um, we're gonna have to do a little bit different muffler because the hood doesn't quite fit with the muffler that came off of this guy. Um, so anyway, we did that. Sorry I didn't show you that whole swap out on that, but it was really pretty simple. You just take the belts off the bottom, unhook all the wires um, from the starter and the headlights, take out the four bolts from underneath and the pulley off, then you stick it on the new mower, which is outside and it's raining, so you don't get to see that until later on in this clip when I get to it. Um, anyway, not sure what else. So that was the deal. That was really why we got it. We got both of these motor decks and everything for um, 150 and uh, that was it he didn't know if they ran or not um, we haven't even bought a carb kit for either one or anything we just kind of cleaned them up and they're running so we did take uh, the magneto and the carburetor from this one because the one on here was uh, starting with starting fluid but nothing and so we just decided to use the carburetor that we knew was good four or five months ago and the magneto on that one was probably okay, but when we were bypassing all the switches, some individual wired two of the grounds together. So we found that after the new magneto didn't work that we had stole off of this motor as well. So this motor, even though it was blown, did serve its purpose today. And so now we're between the two mowers, we have four good tires, we think. Um, they were sitting in his this guy's yard um, for, he said, several months. But that one, he said, was a year or two. This guy was supposed to be six months. But the tires are well past six months of sitting. Um, these guys are split. Um, anyway, so could not get these off the gray one at all. So he's going to try something he saw on the uh, shop press over there to press them out, let it hang, and, and pop it out. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, while we have it off, we're going to go ahead and change the pulley. This one we're gonna make, since it's a 14, we're gonna make that our speed demon. And uh, gonna put some good, you know, probably just leave these turf tires of some sort on there. Not gonna put the tractor tires like we do on the other ones. And we're gonna make that one go pretty quick, hopefully. Uh, stay tuned for that. That's what we'll join you on here now, because you know, the other was just to get our Murray working. That was kind of our, ooh, 150 bucks. We can get two motors, play around, get the Murray working again. So we'll have two working lawnmowers for the yard. And then, um, you know, we'll do something. We're going to probably try to do something with this guy because we really like the frame. He's actually got the, he's the garden tractor or the lawn tractor, it says. And it's got this nice, so we can, you know, weld up something on there for pulling. Might even actually put like a little plow or something on the back um, and hook it up. Uh, anyway. I guess that's it. Uh, we're going to go and try and pull this out of here now. Get it over there in our corner. Kind of got to clear the mess out, but uh, we'll do that in just a second. When is Tack leaving? Um, tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., I think. <laughs> so, we might swap the pulley out, but we'll see. Why did I go through the mess of taking that off? 
Okay, we're gonna hit pause and uh, get the uh, pulley off, and then I'll join you when we get it over there to pop the wheels off. We still got clearance down there. Feel, uh, uh, nope. feel under it. Cause it all has to have. Oh no, because the tire will go down. Something happened down there. No, I think it went through again. Yeah, there's a socket went in. Small update here. One wheel will not come off. We got the other one off um, just by pressing it out and pop it off. And I uh, had to beat on it a little bit with the hammer and uh, put it on the stand here that we were making for our welding cart because there wasn't enough space in there to let it go all the way down. That stupid bar on the bottom that goes across the, uh, I guess it's a support. Anyway, if you had a little bit taller shop press, it'd work perfect. But this guy, he broke our, uh, well, as you can see, the hub's about pressed out in there and then the, the oh, shaft yeah. still didn't uh, move. The shaft didn't move at all, so it's really welded on there. Um, that just you know, years of rust, I guess, just sitting there. Now this one, somebody was smart and put some of that anti-seize or grease on there, and these just popped right off. And supposedly these both were at the, they, we bought them from the same guy, and they both were sitting there almost the same amount of time. So, definitely use that in the future, and you won't have an issue. All right, so next step is he's gonna try and cut them off. Um, you know, cut it down, and then we'll try to beat it off and uh, with a chisel or something at the end. I'm not sure what to do after that. We'll keep you posted. So we finally got it. What we ended up having to do, even with WD-40 for two days, um, went ahead and just cut a little square out to get the, the hub off on the axle. And then we uh, cut a slit in here and we just went above the keyway. And that way he didn't get anything, you know, didn't get the axle at all because it just went down into the keyway and then split the rest with a, a chisel to get a little gap in there. And we still had to hook it up to the press and press it out. Um, it took about three or four pumps before it broke loose even with the cut and slid in there. So, um, and then we, you know, it didn't, it didn't just fall out either. We still had to press it all the way out. So, uh, it was stuck, but as you can see, the, it's completely rusted. I mean, all the way down, there's just no, you know, it's dark. I don't have a lot of light over here in the corner, but um, that's just rust mainly right here in this top inch. Um, and you can you feel it, but we'll have to get that all cleaned off and stuff before we put it back together.